Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 74, Web Page Access Control Rule Scope. When creating Web Page Access Control Rules, one of the options available to you is the scope. Your choice is either all content, or exclude direct child web files. The all content option means that permissions are required for the page defined in the Web Page Access Control Rule, its descendant child pages, as well as its direct child web files. The exclude direct child files option is pretty self-explanatory. With this option, direct child files of the page remain accessible even if users don't have any permissions, even while the page itself is not accessible. When is this useful? If you're trying to create a portal that only serves authenticated users, you might think about adding a restrict read web page access control rule to your home page. This will work as long as you choose exclude direct child web files for your scope. This is because there are certain child files of the home page, like some CSS styles, that are necessary to render the sign in page. Without those files being accessible to everyone, the portal does not function. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 74 on web page access control real scope useful.